Hey guys, I'm back again from the French Alps and my day of skiing went well. So that aside, let's talk about why women flake and what is the thing that you're not getting? Why do women tell you that they want to see you, but then they never own up to it? Why is it that some women that you meet, some, some, man, it could be going so good, so well, but she never texts you back, or she texts you back, and she says, let's meet up for a date, and she doesn't show up? How do you feel? Let me start with some of my most rememberable moments, and I still get flaked on if I, you know, do go on a date with the girl, that I've been flaked on. One of the times that I've been flaked on where I've been like, fuck, man. It's feeling the same way you do. Just feeling fucking frustrated that you met a girl, you liked her, she liked you back, and she didn't own up to it. She wanted to see you, but she didn't make it happen. You wanted to make it happen, but she didn't. I was with a girl. Well, I was talking to a girl. I wasn't with her. I was never with her, actually. I was talking to a girl in Budapest, and as I'm talking to this girl in Budapest, she's much taller than me, and she's really fucking beautiful. I stop her, and she's Russian, and I'm talking to her, and everything is flowing well, and, you know, I'm talking to this really tall girl. She's, like, this much taller than me, and I'm just holding eye contact, and she's so amazing looking to me, and she has a great energy about her, and as we're talking, she just, I can feel that she's into me, and you know what it's like when a girl's into you. Especially the girls that you really wanted to talk to and you really wanted to uh, find out more about, you wanted to go on a date with. These are the girls where you're like, fuck, man, why does she have to flake? So this girl, she's there and everything is going amazing between us. And then I go, hey, let's meet in front of Starbucks. Uh, I forgot I said tomorrow, the next day, I can't remember. And she's like, okay. And I'm listening to it and she's so yes that I start to get a little bit sketchy. Because sometimes when a girl's so yes, you need to uh, tune into that because she's just saying yes sometimes just because you know that's what she uh, wants to do. Or sometimes she's saying yes in the moment just so she can you know, think about it and she's just committing to it but not really committing to it. You know, she's one that she wanted to see. So it's not really a for sure. And I'll be talking to you later about never really making a for sure around a woman because that's one of the things that's going to fuck you up. But back to this girl, as we're there, as I'm talking to her and she says that, I just start to get a little bit, you know, question mark. And a question mark comes to me, another question mark comes to me. Okay, you guys got to forgive me because I'm like in a wooded area and I just hear like this gnawing at the fucking wood back there. And I'm like, fuck, is it an animal? Anyway, sound like water. So we are ready for a date, and I'm standing in front of Starbucks. As I'm standing in front of Starbucks, I am completely just excited to see this girl. And at the same time, I'm a little bit sketchy, just a little bit. She's really, really fucking beautiful. She is totally my type. She's totally into me. But at the same time, her saying yes so quickly to everything kind of made me go, all right, well, I'll see what's going to happen. And I'm standing there, and I'm waiting, and I'm like, fuck, man, it's already, it's already been 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Then I write her and say, hey, I'm here. Then I see that she's been online. And I write her, and I wait. And then I look at the message again, and then it shows that she's been online two minutes ago. And I sent the message like 15 or 10 minutes ago. I'm like, this girl has been online and saw my message. She saw, she saw what I wrote her. She still didn't. She still didn't respond. And I wrote her again. And then I said something cheeky. And she just never got back to me. It's one of the most rememberable ones because it's, it's something where I just noted in my mind that some of the girls that we really, really want, I mean, like, we feel that, fuck, this is on, will not show up. It has happened to me so many times that I have to tell you guys that it still happens. I don't care how good you get, it will still happen. You can never get so good 
that women you just have a hundred percent like every girl that you that you want to meet for a date she shows up you will never get there because the feminine nature is so unpredictable life is unpredictable which is also the feminine it's just so unpredictable that you can never ever get to a state where you're just like okay this is the constant thing because you can't even control this is this is the constant thing it will never be constant and no, neither should you want it to be constant so I have to understand that fuck man some of the girls that I really 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 want even right now even if I was to go on a date with her tomorrow some of the girls that I really really want will never see me again never they will never ever write me back or they'll write me back and they just won't show up now of course the better you get the less that will be an issue but women will continue to do that and I'm constantly looking to myself in the sense of okay how can I allow this to happen less because it's happening a lot but I know that you know it's not not now but when it was before I was like okay I know it's happening a lot but how can I allow this to happen less and it's not the effect to look at it is the cause so I started to look at what is the cause of women not getting back to me because some of you guys are probably at a place where you're feeling like okay I'm getting a lot of numbers but women are not getting back to me okay I'm going on dates but women are not seeing me again after the first date okay well I am uh, seeing a girl and having sex I had sex with her but then she never want to see me again along that path many things could be the reason but the one that I see that's the most consistent as the reason is how much did she want you and how much did you guys want to uh, how much did you get to know her that's really what it is because it really comes down to what is her desire for you and you can't really control that you can influence that by being able to show her your desires because that ignites hers if it's there and it's bubbling underneath and she doesn't want to show it but otherwise man that's the that's the these are the most consistent things that I see and I say things like I said a thing before but there's actually two things if she really really wants you and if in the and the first thing is did you get to know her so that she feels like okay I want to go see this man because a woman really wants to see a man under two conditions she wants you without even having to get to know you because she just likes the look of you which is the one that's the least and the second one is which is the most common get, uh, getting to know how, do, how well did you get to know her like these are the two that I would say under the two circumstances that a woman will want to see a man again so let's speak about the first one the first one is if she wants you I've definitely had sex with many girls who just like the look at me like the way that I talk uh, they had a perception of me they like the way I dance and had sex with me I definitely just had girls who did that but that was the least amount of girls so you will have girls just by doing a lot of approaches that will want to fuck you just because of the way you came across when you first met them they just want that kind of power uh, they will want to have sex with you just because you are really good at you're really witty and funny really because they just like oh, I'll fuck with him because he's witty and funny and she just like has this oh yeah I'll do it she'll fuck you because she you were you because your status or like the who you are like like what kind of thing you do like you're a dancer you fucking DJ you're fucking you know you're the leader of some group she just wants to do that because you're that because she just wants to feel good because of that there's many different reasons because she just wants you that's one of the things that I would say that will happen to you from just uh, talking to many girls but those girls who do that who even want to have sex with you just because of something that's that you have that's very very not emotionally deep so to speak there's not really any energetic emotional connection between you two she just wants to get herself off and she just wants to have you she just wants to have some fun with you and that's totally fine you know there's people who just will like to indulge in the pleasures of just I want his cock I want him because he looks sexy there's girls who will want you because just the way you look or just the way you came across but nothing else and girls like that most of those girls will flake even if you get a girl who goes yeah you know I'll go on a date with you and you just walk and she just gives you her number but you really didn't get to know her 
many of the times that girl, those girls will flake. Many of the times. Unless, of course, they really want you. And, you know, that brings me back to, you know, girls where, I, I'm, you know, I met a girl at the airport. And this was uh, earlier last year. I met a girl at the airport and she just was like one of these kind of diva type girl. And she looked at me and she's like, well, you know, you're cute. Yeah, you know what, you know, okay, well, when you're back in town, you know, write me. Then I wrote her and she didn't get back to me. Then she wrote me before I even came back into town. And then when I came back into town, which is I was in Melbourne at the time, we had sex. But that girl, she didn't really fucking, we didn't really have an emotional connection. We didn't even throughout the date, we did. Not that much. We really didn't. She just wanted to have something with me. Because she liked me because I was cute, because, you know, I was American boy probably, but that she could have easily flaked. That's something I knew from that girl, but she didn't. And uh, it worked out well for me. But that is a very, very small victory. I don't, that's not most of the girls I've had sex with. Most of the girls I've had sex with, I met them and I got to know them, which brings me into the second thing, getting to know the girl. Once you're getting to know the girl, her chance of flaking on you is so slim. It's very, very slim. But in the beginning, when you're talking to a girl, you're really not thinking about getting to know her. You're thinking about not fucking up. You're thinking about not running out of things to say. You're thinking about, would this girl like me? This is the reason why in the beginning, your flake rate is completely high. You have so many girls flake on you. And it's totally fine, man. It is totally fine that so many girls are flaking on you in the beginning because you have to go through that process. The process of having women flake on you will force you into getting to know them. That's the great thing about it. The great thing I found in having women flake on me is that I got so fed up with it and the pain of it that I wanted to just get to know girls there. I was like, <clears throat> I don't care about if she even wants my number. I don't care about getting her number. I care about getting to know her because, of course, I want the woman, not the number. Of course, the number is a secondary thing, but I want her. I want to get to know this woman. I, don't know, I want to know what she's like. But if I just go in there and I'm constantly just trying to get the number, fuck, man, I, I can get many numbers as I want. Women will give out the number just because she feels a little bit of something with you. That's enough. But for her to really commit to coming to see you, it must be, much, it must be some more. For women to consistently commit, for you to have consistent dates, you must get women consistently wanting to see you by you being consistent in getting to know them. That's really the, the, the jewel. The jewel is how much are you getting to know the girl? Are you just going in there and trying to just get in and get out? Because that get in and get out, that is not going to lead to consistency. You're probably angry at, your, at, at <clears throat> not getting women into your life, but you're not angry at the fact that you're trying to get in there and get out. Why are you not angry at that behavioral pattern? That stems to something that you need to handle. But just sitting in the tension of, right now I feel scared, fuck I want to get out of here, fuck this is too much, and persisting past that moment. Because past that moment, that is where you'll find out that women were just waiting for you to get to know them more. Fuck everything that I'm going through right now, are you trying to tell me everything that I'm going through right now is just because I was trying to get in there and get the number and get out? You try to tell me past that moment, everything else that I wanted lies there. Yes, I'm trying to tell you that. I'm trying to tell you that if you want more successful women, if you want women in your life, if you want more sex, you need to do what you need to do for that to happen. You cannot go from not being able to get girls in your life consistently to just trying to go for the number. Now you can do that. As a, uh, as a beginning thing, just give you, get yourself over the hump of saying, can I have your number? Or let's go for a date or let's go for a coffee. Yes, you, need, you can do that in the beginning. But the middle part, and this is something I have to understand too, not just you. It's not definitely just you, it's me as well. I have to understand that the middle part is what's going to make the girl commit more. 
being there with you, filling out you, seeing how am I feeling in relation to this man. This man is in front of me and I feel incredibly good. I want more of this. He really wants to get to know me. I feel seen by him. This guy can really see me. If there's one of the jewels that I hold as a man is the ability to see a woman really. I can really see women when I'm in front of them. This is why some women find me scary because I can truly see what's happening with her. I don't beat around a bush with my scene because I know that I want to give her the chance to be able to show me who she is. But I have to open up, of course, within me, and it's something I will talk about in my product, being able to open up space within yourself so you can be able to allow a woman to come out. Because many a time she can't come out until you open the space for her to come out in that part. You're so closed down so many of the times that when you're in front of a girl, she can't really open up and beam the way she wants to. She wants to beam for you. She wants to live alive for you. She wants to be in your presence and feel you. And that's what's going to get her to want to see you again. That's what's going to get her to say, yes, who is this man? I want him. You want a girl who wants to do that. But you're cutting yourself off from that experience by constantly not trying to really get to know the girl. If you're going in there trying to get to know the girl as a way to her pants, eventually she will see that at some point. She will eventually come to that. She'll be like, I know this man is just saying these things to me because he wants to go on a date with me. He doesn't really want to get to know me. He's not genuinely interested in who I am. But he's definitely, he's definitely genuinely interested in fucking me. But why not me? He wants to fuck my pussy and my mouth and my tits and my ass. But he doesn't want to fuck me. You have to want to fuck her. She's more than just all of this. Because if, if, if you took the essence out of every girl, if you took feminine expression away, if you took, pers if not personality, because personality is not real, if you took spirit away and you just put a body in front of you, you might as well go to Japan, get a blow-up doll or one of those dolls that you can, uh, you can pay for, and you just might as well fuck that because you're not really fucking a girl. You want to fuck her body. So this just brings me to this really want to know the woman. If you want more success, you need to go out there with an attitude of really want to get to know women. Yes, you want the number. Yes, you want to go on a date. Yes, you want to fuck the girl. That is totally fine. Yes, she wants to fuck you. Yes, she wants to go on a date. Yes, she wants to give you her number. But no, she does not want a man in front of her who's just going to say the things to get to, get to those things. She wants a man in front of her who really wants her who really wants her. You have to really want the woman that you're speaking to. How can you make women uh, more happy in front of you? How can you give women the chance to have a man in her life who really, really cares? Is by being a man who really cares. Start being a man who fucking cares. You gotta care. You gotta want women in your life, for real. Not just the fuck, but you gotta want women in your life. Feminine, people just say, oh man, I want femininity in my life. Great, feminine is all around you. But for you to get the feminine in the bodily form, for you to get that into your life, you need to understand that you have to really wanna get to know life and you really wanna get to know women. The same thing I'll talk about in my product, just understanding the feminine, how the feminine wants you. And you just understanding the feminine allows you to be able to bring more feminine into your life. It's all ties together, man. You guys got to want women more. You got to want to get to know women more. If you want to bring women to your life, you got to want that process. The process of who are you really? And you're like, sometimes when I'm talking to a girl, she doesn't really want to get to know me. Or da -da 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 -da. I'm like, you wouldn't get that girl on a date anywhere if she doesn't really want to get to know you. Because you'll never get a girl who doesn't want you. You'll always get girls who want you. Your objective should not be, I want to go for the girls who don't want me, who play hard, you know, play, who play games. I want to go for those girls. Great. Go for those girls and see what happens. 
I challenge you to go for the girls who play hard to get or the girls who want you. Girls who play hard to get, they're great. Girls who want you, they're great. Girls who may, you know, be a little bit iffy, they're great. The reason why girls who are iffy are great is just because they, they don't really know. They're dealing with their own belief systems on the inside and they just need to be open to their experience. And sometimes just, you know, pressing a little bit on them and showing them that it'll be okay is enough for them to switch over. But are you seeing what the deal is? The deal is this. If I want to get to know women more, if I want to bring women into my life more, if I really treasure knowing a woman, who she really is, yeah, I want to fuck her, but really wanting to know her and really wanting to fuck her, then I'll be able to lower the amount of flakes that I have. But if I'm a man who just wants to get in, and get in there and get out and try to get the number, if I'm a man who don't really care about the girl, or if I'm a man who don't approach at all, I will never get as many girls as I ever want. Really. Your life will be very limited. Very, very limited. This not only presses on you for women, but it presses on you for people in life. Because in the same way you handle women, it's the same way you handle life. If you're not really interested in women, and you only want to fuck them, or you only want to get their number, you're very shallow in many other ways in your life with the people that are close to you. That is crazy that in the same way that we're handling women, it's the same way we handle life. Because just start to do inventory. Where in your life are you just trying to get things from people but you don't really want to get to know them. Where in life where are you trying to just not really go for it and get out? You know, you're like, I want to go for this job. No, 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 no. I'll do something else. I want to talk. No, 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 I'll do something else. You're not really committed to anything. But you're definitely committed to your excuses. So I don't get into no big topic about something else. I just want to say that I love you guys. I do. I make these videos at these random hours like this. You know, the sun has went down on me two days in a row. <laughs> it has. And if you've tuned in this far in the video, thank you. Because I know that you're someone who really cares about the content that I'm giving you. And you can see that, fuck, man, Tony is the real deal. Tony really talks about things that I absolutely need to start to implement. I'm here to try to get you the results you want. With women and without women. But you got to be willing to take the steps, man. You got to be willing to take the steps. If you're willing to take the steps, I'm looking at you right now. If you're willing to take the steps, you will get the life that you want. I promise you that. I've taken steps, many, many steps in my life and still taking steps. But that's something that I promise you because I'm a living product of a man who takes steps towards that, what he, that which he wants. So, from France, Tony Solo saying that subscribe to my channel so you can get more. And until the next video, I see you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new. And it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say, and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home, and along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.